this was really an amazing day off. <clears throat> Good morning guys, my first challenge for the day, go buy bread for our trip today with this funny stupid looking camera on my head. I kind of hope actually that nobody's on the street. Morning. Good dog. Good dog. Musta. Ano yung Monday? Ah, Monday, Monday, ay grabe. Monday, pretty thin. So I honestly thought I will get funnier reactions. Nobody really seems to care about my camera. I will try this again in Manila. Okay, we are on our way now to the Santa Ana Pier here in Davao City. Malayo ba? Angel. So we are here now in the Carabao dive shop getting our equipment, our gear and then we are headed to the boat. Oh, it's going to be so nice! Now are you looking forward to the day? Yes. <laughs> How about you Ryan? Oh yeah. Mayong Buntag, we are here now at Santa Ana Port or Santa Ana Pier or whatever ready to board our boat to go to Talikot Island and there we'll have some snorkeling, some diving, some fellowship time so I'm really excited that you are joining.
I'm not sure if you can hear me very well, it's really windy. It's amazing, we saw crazy stuff, really, really nice. Um, I was breathing though like crazy, so after whatever, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, my tank is already almost empty. Uh, I should work on this, it was just really, really great. Break time, so we're going to stay at this wonderful beach now and have some lunch. Hello, Kuya. I'm totally in downtime mode here. This island is beautiful, it's not too busy. I think it's a good idea to not come here during the weekends and that we can do some scuba diving today. It's really a privilege, it's amazing. I think the thing that I like most about scuba diving is the feeling that you are in a different world. You know guys, I'm from Germany and I'm living in the Philippines now. I always feel like a foreigner because I, I know my world, I know Germany, I know the culture, I know the people. Um, and being here in the Philippines is again being in a new area. I don't know Or at least I didn't know the culture. I didn't know how to behave I didn't know where to buy stuff and so I always felt like a foreigner like a like an alien basically But it was really really cool to learn new stuff and to get to know new stuff And this is exactly the feeling I have been underwater. I know the the world here I kind of know the animals around I know what is poisonous and what not but being there underwater is a totally different world The sound is different the way you move is different because of course you are in the water you, you see beautiful stuff but it's also kind of scary you, you don't know everything you don't know what's dangerous and whatnot so it's, it's an amazing it's a kind of a little bit of a thrill and it's an amazing space to enjoy nature <laughs> This is the frogfish, the frogfish that we were talking about in, in this video that I will link up there. Is it right up here? Up here? I can't really... Up here.
was really an amazing day off. I'm not sure if there are so many activities out there where you completely forget your daily life. Just, just to be in a different world and to be observant, to be aware of your surroundings really helps to get your mind off things and to get you set on, on a very positive things. So this was actually a little bit more adventurous. This was actually a little bit more adventurous than we planned to. Loads of waves and wind and stuff. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I really anticipated somebody fell into the water, but nobody did. You're so bad. <laughs> I'm so bad though. Uh, anyway, have a great day and enjoy your life wherever you are. See you in the next video.